Hi there. Now, for part E, we've got to find the coordinates of C and the coordinates of D, where C and D then lie on the line L2. And we're told that this distance AB is exactly the same as P to C as it is to D to P, and the x coordinate of C is positive. So, if I update this diagram, which we had in the previous part, part D of this question, I know that this length, We'll just mark it in there, A to B, must be the same then as P to C and D to P. So our points C and D must be either side of P. The question is, which is which? Which one is C, which one's D? We know that these lengths are exactly the same length as A, B. Now whatever this point is, or this point, let's, t let's just take this point first. To get to it, I've got to do O to P followed by this vector here, which is the vector A to B. It's exactly the same length in the same direction. So if I did 0, 2, 3 plus 1, minus 1, 1, I can see that the x component, the x coordinate, would be 1, plus that zero, it will be a positive value. Whereas to get down to this point, I've got to do O to P minus this vector, okay, to go back down to there. And so we'll have for the X coordinate, naught minus one, which will be a negative value. So I can see that C, for this diagram anyway, would have to be this point here. And that means D would be this one. It's up to you, by the way, how you draw your diagram. You've just got to work off any diagram that you draw. So it, it might not look like this. You might have your lines L1 and L2 sloping in different directions. I have no idea how they slope, okay? I don't know where these points A and B are on this line L1. I don't know where the point P is on the line L2. But nonetheless, we can still work off these diagrams. So let's say then to get to C, O to C is going to be O to P followed by, that's plus, A to B. And we end up then with O to P, which is the vector 0, 2, 3. And A to B then we've got here is 1 minus 1, 1. And if we add those two together, we get the position vector of C, O to C, which is 1, 1, 4. Remember though, we were asked for the coordinates of C, so this answer here isn't a coordinate, it's a position vector. The coordinates of C would be 1, 1, 4, written like that. Now, to get D, it's really much the same kind of thing. To get from O to to D is to go from O to P, but this time minus the vector A to B to go in the opposite direction. So that's minus A to B. So we've got O to P, which is 0, 2, 3 as its position vector, minus A to B, which is going to be 1 minus 1, 1. Do that sum and you end up with minus 1, 3, 2. And so therefore, the coordinates of D will be minus 1, 3, 2. Okay?